Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So I bet you can never guess who we're drawing today. Well, he doesn't look like this anymore. But he does look like that. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to draw our wonderful Sven. What I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make a line right here. We're gonna make a really weird looking kind of circle, basically. So you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna make a line right here. And then you're gonna come right here, and stop right there for a minute. And then you're gonna come inside, and you're gonna go out. And then what I wanna do is I wanna jump in and I wanna make a circle right here. Okay, great. Now come down here and we're gonna make another circle right here. Wonderful. Now that we have our basic like, what in the world? This is like a half kind of Olaf going on right here. What is going on? Okay, I have a method to my madness, trust me. Now, what I wanna do first is let's go ahead and start positioning his face, the insides of his face at least. So we have our basic line of our nose. I wanna make his nose, mm, no, let's start it right here. So we have this definite guideline right here. And then I'm gonna come out, go in, and then I'm gonna go out right here, outward, and then I'm gonna curve inward, and then I'm gonna start to go up right there. Okay, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna make a line right here, and go outward, and then we're gonna start going up. All right, so let's leave those alone for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the inside of his face. Hmm, let's not make it so round. I'm gonna make, bring it just straight down into the nose. There we go, much better. I'm gonna get rid of these guidelines right here. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump in the middle of his nose. So let's say this is the middle of his nose right here. So we got one and then two, okay? So we have the middle of his nose and what I wanna do is I'm gonna come up, over, and down. Okay, so we have that going on. And then for this, we kinda have a good idea where it's going. So we go up, over, and then what I wanna do is I'm gonna jump inside right here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close off this circle. All right, all right. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place more parts of his eyes. So we have a bit of a cool looking eyebrow mess going on on Sven. So I'm gonna come right here at the top of this circle and I'm just gonna kinda mirror the top and I'm gonna darken it because obviously this is an eyebrow. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to this side and we have the curve of his nose. So he's his eyebrow is going in right here and down like that. Now let's jump inside and place his eye. So we got one rough circle right here. And then this eye is over to the side since his head is turned, smiling at us. We're gonna come over here, make a line right here, go out, down, and in. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of a bump right here. This is his bottom eyelid. And shade that in for now. to some of these guidelines because they are bothering me. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna come up here and he's got a bit of an eyelid on the top of his eye right here. We don't really see the eyelid as much but you do have a little bit of a definite line for an eyelid right there. You see more thick eyelashes on this side of his face as opposed to this side but Sven does have very like a thick eyeliner thing going on. So I will go ahead, I'm gonna darken around his eyes he does have a little bit of eyelashes. Not too, not too string-like or anything like that. They're more clumped together. But he definitely has eyelashes. And then come down here. Okay, and then I wanna jump over here to this side and you do see his eyelashes a little bit more thick, thicker over here. make it curve out and down over here. Okay, then 
what I want to do is I'm going to come up inside of his eyes, make a circle here, and then we have a circle right here. Okay? Now I'm going to make a little bit of a shine, and then of course there's a shine right here, and Sven does have brown eyes. There's his pupil. His pupil right here. eyelid and thick, nice thick eyelashes. Wonderful. So we do know that Sven has like his circle. This circle area is a definitely a tan, very light tan and everything. So I'm going to just color around it where this is brown. We've got brown right here. And then right down here and then his, his snout. And of course, this is all brown up here. And then this is brown over here, but we still have that patch of white. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to his nose. So we have our basic outline of our nose down here. So I just want to kind of curve this out and make it a little bit more even looking. Okay. But first, what I want to do is let's go ahead and place his teeth right here, which would be, we're going to put a line right here. And then we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna put a line right here. Okay? And it's going to start small. We're gonna go out and it's gonna curve inward. So it's nice and big and then connects over and inside. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump down. Get rid of some of these guidelines. So we have teeth right there, and then I want to jump inside here, and I'm going to make the line right there. So we have a definite line right here, coming from this spot on his teeth. We're going to go up, curve inward. We're going to kind of come over to this side of our guideline over here. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to come inside right here and we're going to make a line right there for now. And then we're just going to come down here to our bottom lip line. And we're going to come inside and start to curve up. We'll get that to that in a moment. Okay, and then what I want to do is I'm going to jump inside here and I'll make a line right there. I'm going to make a line right here. And we're going to curve upward and in. So we have some teeth right there and then I'm going to go ahead and connect the rest of his bottom lip. Okay, get rid of that guideline right there. Alright, and then it's going to come up and start curving in and it's going to connect right here. So I curved inward right here. Okay, then I'm going to make a little bit of a hook right here. Give it a nice rounded top. Okay. Now I'm going to jump inside of his mouth. I'm going to make a tongue. So we're going to curve right in the middle of his teeth. And then we're gonna, his tongue is coming all the way down here. So we're gonna curve upward and back behind here. Okay, and then I'm gonna just come right here in the middle and make a good little line. All right, let's give him a little bit more definition to his teeth. So we're going to come right in the middle, right here, and make a line here, make a line here, and make a line here. All right. And then I'm going to jump down to his bottom row of teeth and make a line right here, and make a line right here. Okay. Now what you want to do is, now that we have this bottom lip line, those guidelines. Now that we have this bottom lip line, I do want to come off to the side right here. I'm going to curve inward. I'm 
up, curve inward, and then we're gonna go in. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for now. Because when we look at this, his snout is gray. It's like a dark brown kind of gray. So I do want to come in here and it is darker. His lips are dark gray. So this is all dark, a nice dark gray. And then I'm gonna jump inside and make this black. So it is the inside of his mouth. Alright, now that we have that, let's go ahead and give him his nostrils. So what we want to do is, I have an indention coming off this side over here. So here's one little line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come upward right here. And you're going to come upward right here. Okay, and then we're going to connect these two lines together. color that in because it's nice and dark and of course his whole snout is nice and it's a gray okay so we basically have like the main really hard like structure down and pretty much good to go so let's go ahead and start laying out the rest of his body because he does have a neck coming off to the side and he's got a lot of fur coming down from his face hiding hiding behind his face and everything and of course he's got his little uh collar i don't know he's basically a dog so let's go ahead and we're gonna lay out his antlers and his ears so for right now i just want to put one little indention right here one little indention right here, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put a little indention over here. So we have this indention, and we have this indention. So I'm going to come off a little bit off to the side right here. And then I'm going to go up. Curve inward. And then I'm going to come down. smaller. Okay, I'm going to get rid of those god knots. Okay, now I want to jump inside of his, his ear right here. I'm going to go up. And connect down here. Okay, there's one ear. And this is brown, of course, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shade this brown. Well, imaginary brown. Alright, now I'm going to jump over here. I'm going to come down. Right off to the side, over here. It's kind of curved. You go in and out. And you're going to come down. Okay, now I'm going to jump inside right here where I started to go in that direction already. Go in and up. And of course this is all brown because we cannot see the inside of his ear. Alright, now that I have that, I will go ahead and start figuring out some antler, place antler placement. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to go up and you're going to kind of go off over here. I'm going to curve out straight, up and over, over like this, okay, and then you're going to curve it, we're not going to make them too pointy, you're going to go in, and you're going to come up here, curve up, and then you're going to start to go in, Stop right there. 
and then I'm going to come inside from right here and then I'm going to go up up and then I'm going to come inward again antlers are pretty free you know you can do whatever you want with them I mean they're antlers and you're just going to go up You can make them go in any direction and just come over here. Just make sure they're nice and skinny, sort of. So come over here and, and up. Now that we have this side of his antler, let's go ahead and do this side of his antler, which I cannot totally see, but I can see that it's gonna go inward right here and then up. And then we got a line coming in right here. And it's curving outward. In. Right here. And then we do have the rest of it coming up and up. The antlers are very 3D-ish in a way, so antlers are kind of free-for-all. You can kind of go off. I mean, I could add another little right here. I could add, you know, you could just do whatever. I mean, he's a reindeer. There's no I, correct way of doing antlers, uh, but since his head is turned, I've got, like, there's lots of shading going on. Like, there's a little bit of shading right here. There's a little shading right here. And, of course, there's a lot of shading over here because it is being overlapped and then we've got he does have brownish kind of tan tips on the top of his antlers okay but now that his antlers are on his head we can go ahead and place the rest of his body and we can finish off shading the brown areas on his face so I have his ear what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down right here I'm gonna go out right there okay I'm gonna stop for right there right now and then I'm gonna come down right over here to his face right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this rough guideline right here and then I'm gonna go up and then I'm just gonna connect right here so we have that for right now but what I want to do is I want to come out over here and then I want to go inward so this is his harness right here but then this is all hair this huge mass. So like I said, you're going to come out and you're going to make little itty bitty stringies everywhere. So this is hair, 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 hair. Hair, 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 hair. And then I've got hair coming out over here and i got hair sticking out the back of his collar. Whatever, he is a dog. Might as well call it a collar. And I've got hair overlapping it and then I've got all kinds of layers of hair. And this, of course, is a very light tan. And then I'm just going to come up right here. And since it isn't really hard lines that he does blend in together, he's all these different shades of brown. But we are going to give him a hard line to separate his face from his actual neck of hair. So we're going to come out over here. And you're going to go up. And then from right here, I'm going to make another line coming inward. And going down connecting okay and then like I said he does have this dark shade of brown over here so I'm gonna go ahead this is our dark brown right here and I'm gonna color it in but here's his hard line of brown that stops right here so we do have the dark shading around here and then of course we've got like the lighter tan so I'll just gently come in here just shade it up just a little bit Okay, but we do have a very hard dark line here coming from around and then of course his eyebrows are very very dark and then of course let's come over here and we're just going to shade this in to make it simple because he does have specific designs they look very complicated I'm just shade this in and that's his collar harness whatever 
And you can go in and you can shade up his hair a little bit more and all his hair is going downward. And you've got some kind of sticking up from behind his collar. And then of course this is a good, this is a nice tan area as well. And it's nice, it's a light tan. So you can go ahead and shade that a little bit and then you've got like the hard good gray areas around his snout. And it does have a little bit of shading. His light, he has light hitting the top of his nose so I will shade a little bit darker around it. And you're gonna go up and over. And dark. All right, there you go, guys. There's Sven, finally. Like I said, uh, if you are gonna draw this image, I would do it nearly. See if you kind of like, oh, you can't really see. Um, like here's the page of paper, and I would draw, start from the very, t kind of towards the top, just so his antlers do go over the edge of the piece of paper, because like I said, this image has his antlers cut off, so that's why, and I said, you can't go wrong with antlers. You can put antlers here and whatnot. Just don't go crazy where you're gonna have like, oh, let's go over here and then let's go over here. Really hope this helped. I know he, I, I know he's a very complicated kind of animal kind of going on, especially with that tongue and those teeth and that smile and then, oh, he's so cute. And I really hope that this did help you guys learn Sven. I mean, I know he's been a, a hot topic to for me to draw and I really, really, really hope this helped. I know it's difficult, I'm sorry. But yeah, as usual, give it a thumbs up because you love Sven. As always, leave in the comments below your suggestions for new characters for me to draw and everything. I kind of have an idea of who I want to draw next, but I'm not exactly sure yet. But yeah, like I said, thumbs up. Love you all. See you next week. Bye!